Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price because we have some very special like, price action going on right now and also we're gonna have a look into Ethereum because we have another new all-time high and at the end we're also gonna have a look into the DXY and Nasdaq. So before we start with the content, as usual a big reminder, if you want to trade Bitcoin Bitcoin and other cryptos up to 100x leverage so you can do all the with small amounts big gains then open up an account over on a Bybit currently you can get $1,000 in bonus if you open up a new account with the link down below here in the description and then go to this website where you can claim your $1,000 in bonus so go and sign up to Bybit right now you need a new account in order to get this special bonus and for everyone that wants to try out trading bots and do arbitrage check out bitscap they are offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free so go and sign up to bitscap you can just connect easily your exchanges like coinbase binance and so on to this platform and like this you can do easily arbitrage and also you can run trading bots on your exchanges i have them running now for almost two weeks and they are very profitable wherever the price is going so definitely check it out if you want to make some uh, passive uh, gains and of course also if you are interested in doing arbitrage so bitscap is the number one platform if you want to do so so go and sign up for 14 days completely for free and if it's paying out for you within those three days then of course you can upgrade to a monthly plan which is only starting by only 19 dollars a month and now my friends let's start straight into the content and we can actually start here in the one hour time frame because uh, yesterday we had here a huge week to the upside which came very close to our first target of $57,000. And this my friends, in my opinion, it's a very concerning week because uh, not only we got immediately rejected here when we came very close to $57,000, but also we had quite decent volume that came in here. So the selling pressure uh, was quite high. And whenever I see wicks like this to the upside with high volume, then this tells me that the selling pressure up here is still very high. And since we are still in this critical zone in creating a lower high in the daily time frame, this breather that we're seeing right now could be a bearish distribution phase. So that's why I am a bit more concerned right now, especially after this week that we got yesterday within only one hour. And I am now a bit more cautious in trading with leverage over on Bybit. So I decreased my long position for now. And I also cashed out a little bit just to be ready in case that we could see another big correction that will take us below $50,000. So it's nothing really worth to mention about, but I just uh, cashed out a little bit of the trade that I was in here in Bybit. So I'm ready in case that we could have a massive uh, correction that I can buy that dip and of course like that accumulate more Bitcoin because there are still some warning signs that makes me believe that this breather and this potential lower high here in the daily time frame could be a bearish sign that we could face a prolonged correction and that's why you should be ready my friends for all scenarios so if you are all in like I was in Bitcoin or other cryptos make sure that you feel comfortable that even if we would see a big sell-off down to 40 or 30k that you are able to buy the dip and that you can accumulate at those price levels again more Bitcoin and you don't have to go and panic sell if we're gonna see such a big drop so if you want to feel comfortable make sure that you have a healthy balance between your invested money and also your cash because even though bitcoin still could go towards new all-time highs and have explosive moves to the upside and of course the bull market is still not over we are still far away from our bull market top in my opinion but that doesn't mean that on the way to the upside we could face some more corrections 
and currently also here in the lower time frames we are getting some warning signs not only this week that we had here yesterday evening but also right now we are falling below the support that we created with this ascending broadening wedge so right now we are again fighting this resistance and if here we are not able again to go within this ascending broadening wedge then this is a valid breakout and we should target at least here again this 53k area potentially even go down to retest $51,000. So here in the lower time frames, especially the one hour, it looks like that we are about to confirm this new resistance. So if we are not able to go back above this ascending broadening wedge, so if we don't see a one hour close, at least a one hour close above $54,800, so above the support or resistance here, then I think we're gonna see follow through to the downside in the next coming hours. Also in the one hour, you can see that right now we are trading below the 50 level in the RSI. And if we go now over into the four hour time frame, you can see that we potentially have now again the EMA ribbons as a resistance if we are starting to close four hour candles now below this important price level of $54,000. So right now we are again here in the four hour time frame in a very critical point. We are right at the 20 moving average and also within the EMA ribbons. So as soon as we're gonna close four hour candles below $54,000, I think we're gonna see for sure a big move again down towards $51,000. And otherwise, if we're gonna start to close again four hour candles above $54,800, so above the EMA ribbons, that I'm pretty confident that we're gonna attack again this $57,000 and potentially test it and maybe even break it because my target for this breeder is still here, 57 to $61,000. But even if we would reach $61,000, there is still a high chance that we could create here in the daily time frame a lower high. And that, of course, is a big warning sign. And another bearish thing here in the four hour time frame, of course, is this little bearish divergence that we are getting. We had here a lower high in the RSI and in the price action, we had a higher high. So this bearish divergence is uh, already playing out, in my opinion. So let's see where it will take us. But I think it's going to get critical here in the four hour if we're going to start to lose this uh, 54 dollars $53,000 support. So watch out for the next four hour closes if they are below the EMA ribbons or above. And if we go now over into the daily time frame, you can see that that week yesterday came very, very close to the 20 daily moving average. And also as soon as we were pumping above the EMA ribbons, you can see that immediately we got here a sell off. And that in my opinion, it's never a good sign, at least for the short to mid term. So that means that we should be prepared that we could drop again towards 51K and maybe even go lower. There are several warning signs, even though this breeder was expected and we are very close to reach our potential targets. And then we're gonna see what will happen because if here we're not able to push higher and start close daily candles, at least above the 20 daily moving average. So at least above $57,000 then things are more looking like that we're gonna see continuation to the downside my friends also have a look here into the RSI right now we're still below the 50 level and it looks like that we could get rejected here we have to bring the RSI above the 50 level and also start to close daily candles above $57,000 otherwise this was just a lower high and also we're gonna see lower prices also below $47,000 in the not so distant future and therefore we have to go over into the weekly time frame because here you can see the potential targets in case that we're gonna drop below $47,000 the first potential support is here $45,600 the 20 weekly moving average and if this one is getting lost then watch out for the nine monthly moving average right here at around $31,000 this is also where more or less the 200 daily moving average is lining up so in the bigger picture, we are still in our bull market. We could even drop down to 30K and still remain bullish because the bigger time frames are looking still very healthy. And even if they would correct down to 30K, we will still remain on our bull market. Only in the lower time frames, then of course, we would be very bearish because uh, everything would be then shifted to the 
downside and one more thing that is important that this week we're gonna close at least above the nine weekly moving average so also above fifty seven thousand dollars otherwise there is a very high chance that this moving average is now the new resistance because previously it acted as a very strong support and that's why i think then we have a very high chance that we go at least down to test the 20 weekly moving average again and if we would dip below this important 20 weekly moving average then watch out for the 200 daily or nine monthly moving average which currently are at around 31 thousand dollars everything is going to be depending where we're gonna close this week and of course also this monthly candle because i told you my friends in the monthly time frame we are looking extremely overbought here and if this sell signal is getting confirmed then the chances are very high that we could face here some months of corrections before we continue our parabolic bull run towards levels way above 100k so you can see my friends that currently i am a bit concerned we have several warning signs here in the bigger time frames and if here we're gonna create a lower high in the daily time frame and we're gonna get rejected here at the 20 daily moving average i think the likelihood is very high that we could drop even further down below this low that we had here of forty-seven thousand dollars so what we want to see right now is that bitcoin is able again to close daily candles above the 20 daily moving average and even better it would be if we're gonna close this weekly and monthly candle above sixty thousand dollars because in that case all these warning signs and sell signals would be denied and we will most likely have explosive move to the upside towards new all-time highs but if this month we're gonna close below sixty thousand dollars and even worse below fifty seven thousand dollars so below the 20 daily moving average then in my opinion we could face some more corrections until then of course we're gonna see sooner or later new all-time highs again because in my opinion the bull run is by far not over but that doesn't mean that we could not face here major corrections which could take us again down towards 40 or 30k so while Bitcoin is in this critical phase here, we now have to switch over to Ethereum because Ethereum is still making new all-time highs day by day. And as you can see right now, we are coming very close to our potential resistance point and price target of $2,850 from this ascending channel that we are in right now. So the chart of Ethereum is looking extremely bullish, my friends. And here I'm expecting at least to go up here to $2,850. And there maybe we could see another correction back down towards a 9 or 20 daily moving average. So again, towards $2,300. And then hopefully have another bounce to the upside. Unless we, of course, would lose here the main support of around $2,200. But also here, if we would go above $2,850, then I think we would have an, a big explosive blue sky breakout to the upside, which can take us easily way above $3,000. So the Ethereum chart is still looking extremely bullish. And I think here we have not seen yet the local top for this run here. And we should expect the price to reach at least $2,850, potentially even break it here to the upside. Because in the daily time frame, we are looking extremely good, even though we could still get another pullback because we are a bit overbought here. But in almost all time frames, we are trading above all the important moving averages. And also here, you can see that we are still within this ascending broadening wedge. And as long as we are not closing here one hour or four hour candles below the support of around $2,700, we are about to reach our target of $2,850. And if this one is getting broken, be prepared to see big explosive moves to the upside. So Ethereum is still looking very healthy and also here in the bigger time frames, of course, we are quite overbought, but that doesn't mean that we have to correct right now. There is a very high chance that Bitcoin could just start to trade sideways or go a bit lower and the altcoins, especially Ethereum, will profit a lot from that. So also in the monthly here, we still have no big warning signs. Of course, we are overbought, but there are no sell signals flashing for now. So Ethereum could continue to pump you towards new all-time highs 
day by day for these next coming weeks and months maybe until here we're gonna reach a local top or a cycle top because the charts are still looking extremely bullish and also the Bitcoin dominance is still falling my friends we are losing the support here of 50 percent so we are in free fall here in the bitcoin dominance and that of course is very much in favor for the altcoins so right now i think that a lot of altcoins uh, will outperform a bitcoin especially if bitcoin is just going sideways or down and that's why if you are sitting in big bags of altcoins make sure that you're taking a lot of profits into bitcoin as long as this bitcoin dominance is falling because the goal is always to accumulate more bitcoin my friends and not altcoins so whenever you're sitting in huge profits from your altcoins make sure that you're taking some profits into bitcoin the best is always sell half at the double into bitcoin because don't forget for the long term the best and safest way is always to accumulate bitcoin and not to hold a lot of altcoins for the long term especially during bear markets because they are the ones that will bleed the most so as long as the Bitcoin dominance is in free fall, my friends, we're going to see a lot of altcoins outperform Bitcoin. And that's why as long as we are falling here in the Bitcoin dominance, I will also take a little bit of profits from my Ethereum HODL portfolio and switch it back into Bitcoin because right now the Ethereum Bitcoin pair is looking extremely bullish and also here I'm expecting to reach potential targets same like we had in 2017 where we had also the Bitcoin dominance falling off the cliffs and you can see that Ethereum came up here towards 0.15 Bitcoin per Ethereum so I think we could see something similar like this of course on the way to the upside we're gonna see some pullbacks especially here at 0.15 057 bitcoin here i think we could face some resistance because also here in the past this acted as a support and now this could be a valid resistance zone here before maybe we could continue to go higher so sitting in some altcoins right now is not a bad idea and as soon as you have huge gains my friends make sure that you're taking also some profits out into bitcoin because for the long term you definitely want to hold more bitcoin and not too many altcoins and now we can also have a look into the DXY because yesterday we had an attempt here to go and test this 100 daily moving average again but as you can see we got again rejected and also here we are in free fall but we are approaching this important support level here from this ascending broadening wedge that we are forming here since many weeks now already. So here I'm expecting a bounce to the upside at least to test the 20 or 200 daily moving average here at $92. But if here we're going to lose the support of $90, be prepared that we could see explosive moves in the crypto and stock market to the upside. Because if the DXY is falling below $90, we could easily go down also to take out this low that we had here at $89. And then we're going to see follow through to the downside for the short to midterm at least. Because money flow is turning back into negative here in the dxy even though we are very oversold we should get a bounce somewhere but if the money flow is staying negative this will be very much in favor for the crypto and stock market my friends and you can see this also here in nasdaq we are about to break this resistance here of fourteen thousand sixty dollars if we are able to break out higher here i'm expecting nasdaq to have big explosive moves to the upside as well especially if the dxy is falling and if everything is starting to pump, especially if the DXY keeps falling below $90, then I think even though right now we could create here a lower high in the Bitcoin price, we should be anyway prepared also here in Bitcoin for new all time highs, even though we are seeing some warning signs here in the daily time frame and overall also in the weekly and monthly. So if everything is starting to pump and especially if the DXY is starting to lose the $90 support and gonna start to drop hard, then in my opinion, however the chart is looking for now, I think also for Bitcoin, we're gonna see new all time highs very soon and we're most likely gonna fire up here to the upside pretty fast. That's why it is very important that we have always an overlook over different assets to see what is going on on the market. And I think the DXY, especially since we are now in a very critical point, could tell us where we are heading to next even though we are seeing some warning signs here on the bitcoin price 
that could lead into a massive correction. But if everything else continues to pump and the DXY is in free fall, then I'm pretty sure that also here in the Bitcoin price, we're gonna see big explosive moves towards 100K and way higher levels in these next coming weeks and months without any further correction here. So let me know in the comments section, my friends, what are your thoughts? Are we about to have further continuation to the downside to go and test important support levels sub 50K or was this already the bottom of 47 and we will go towards 100K and way higher levels in these next coming weeks and months? Let me know your predictions, my friends. I'm very interested. What are your thoughts? And with that said, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. And also a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on Discord. If you want to join our Discord community, make sure to use the invitation link down here in the description. And of course, go here to read first and confirm that you are a human and not a bot by clicking on this thumbs up button then you have free access to the trading chat and if you want to get also my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin then send me here a private message on discord because a small donation is needed in order to get access to the indicator otherwise just get a youtube membership directly here with this button so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye